and welcome to the show. Welcome to Grid. This is the original Grid from 2008, and I think it's an amazing game. Today, um, I am going to be doing a little challenge. It's going to be a demolition derby, one of the amazing things that uh, Grid has. Um, there's only one track. Um, well, I'm not going to do a typical demolition derby where it's just going to be six laps. I'm going to be doing 24 laps. Reason why is because I'm going to be trying to be the last one standing. I mean, the last one standing, that also means that I'm probably going to be taking out as many people as possible. I'm going to be running my custom livery, which, as you can see from the menu, is possibly My Little Pony inspired. It's blue and it's purple. Who do you think it is, people? Um, difficulty, I'm going to put it up to serious because I don't want it to be too difficult to be taking out people that and I want to be able to have some flashbacks in case things go wrong. I'm going to be putting grid position to the back just because it'll probably make that easier. Driver assists, I sometimes use automatic transmission for some reason in this game, I just prefer to use automatic, but everything else, all the assists are off. So now we're going to be getting into this game, yeah. So, the reason why I'm doing this game so late, just after, um, after so long this game's been released, even when the Grid Autosport's been released, as a matter of fact, it's really because I just got this game off of eBay for very, very, very cheap. Um, but now we're going to be getting into the Demolition Derby. Where am I? That's right, I'm in the back, because I asked to be. Alright. I've never really played on Savage difficulty. I've always tried to keep it on nor normal difficulty, just simply because, yeah, I always wanted to have the easier AI. And now I'm sort of stuck in the back because everybody is sort of stuck. This is not what usually happens. And I'm only in 11th place right now. That's not really good. But we moved up one position, so that's fine, I guess. But, yeah. Um, got this game just recently. But it's a really fun game. I actually do like it quite a lot. I do, I do like the sort of approach with how you can choose what races you want to be in, and as long as you have just enough money, which it's not that hard to have enough money, then you'll be able to race in those series. Um, what, what, what else is there? Um, the drifting, a lot- oh gosh! Um, 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 get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, okay. Wow, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Drifting, drifting, a lot of people, oh my gosh, a lot of people have complained about the drifting that it's very difficult. Uh, as for me though, I actually really love the drifting, as a matter of fact, I might actually be one of, one of my favorite uh, motorsport categories out of all the grid. It's actually quite fun for me to do, because I actually made sense of the physics engine. You know, I might actually do a sort of video, sort of like how to drift for grid because the drifting is almost arcade-ish. It's, it's once you understand it, it's very easy to master. I mean, if you p just pick this up, this game up and just started ran randomly driving whatever car did you you wanted for drifting, that's not going to do you much good, especially if you chose something like the RX-7. Because if you chose the RX-7, that's actually the most hard car to drive in the game. Or even if you chose something like the Toyota 86, the GT, no, not GT 86, the AE 86. Um, I mean, if you approach it the wrong way, then yeah, you won't be able to drive it well at all. But, I mean, you approach it the wrong way, you can't drive it at all, but I mean, if you just try to give it a little bit of time to understand the physics engine, then hopefully you'll be able to make make sense of it, and then, oh my gosh, I was totally blind to that. See, that's one of the reasons why I kept the difficulty lower, is because I have to use the flashbacks quite a lot, especially in the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The 24 Hours of the Le Mans is one of the events that you can do here. I just realized my, my steering is terminally damaged. Um, I have not really had that happen before. But I don't really feel the steering being that bad, though, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I was going to say, uh, 24 Hours of Le Mans, they actually do have that. And it is technically 24 hours, but it's actually time-lapsed. It's sort of in the sense that it's uh, one, 
one second is two minutes in the 24 hours of Le Mans, so it's basically 12 minutes of Le Mans. I don't really like the 24 hours of Le Mans because the physics engine, at least in the case of the race cars, is a little bit unusual. With the so with the physics here, the you expect for the the high speed, high end cars to have lots of downforce and to be able to take some of the high speed corners, such as the Porsche curves, very easily. However, for some reason in this game, that doesn't seem to really work. For, in the Porsche curves, I'm, I have no idea how fast you can actually take, it in, take them in real life, but what I know with the GT2 cars, for example, I can only take them at 130 miles an hour. With the LMP cars, I can only take them at 130 miles an hour, and the AI some, somehow is always able to go just always faster than me whether they're going on the inside or the outside and we've had a very fantastic crash and now we're gonna reset the vehicle because because I got taken out basically um yeah I'm not sure what else, what else is there to say uh Raven West Raven West uh, was the is the basically the boss team out of all of Grid, I think it's been like that in all three games. I know for sure that Raven West is in Grid Autosport. I don't know if it was in Grid 2. I didn't really bother to get Grid, grid 2 because the arcadey feel was just a little bit too much for me. I I will kind of join people in that case that it was it wasn't what really what we expected. It wasn't the type of game that I really was interested in. I mean, there's so many arcade racing games that already are out there, so. Really, I didn't need another one, so that's why not so much into Grid 2, at least from what I've played of it, and I have played a decent amount of it. Actually, one way that I can compare it is with the Nissan Skyline GTR, which is both in uh, this grid and in Grid 2. In this game, the GTR is actually one of the best cars to drive because it is very, very forgiving. It's a car that you can easily throw into the corners and will be good for events such as Toge, which is basically like initial D mountain runs. But then when you're racing in Grid 2, the GTR is actually very, very slidey. And that's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work for me. I kind of like for the cars to have some feeling of solidity. I mean, whether or not, just, I like some solidity at, even at some times. I mean, even Need for Speed Most Wanted had a little, you could keep the cars in a straight line if you really wanted to, and hey, that guy's been taken out. Um, yeah, there's just some solidity with the physics engine. With Need, oh my gosh, my steering has, my steering really is just busted now. I can't turn. I can't turn. I don't think I can turn. Help! I think it's a damage. It's a damage worse now that I'm. Um. Help! I'm crippled. I can't turn left at all. This is really bad. I've never had this happen to me in a demolition derby. I wonder if it's because of the ramp up difficulty. I have no idea now. But this is not good at all. Makes for a very interesting challenge. I'm gonna have to use the handbrake a little bit more. Oh gosh, I cannot turn at all. I cannot turn at all. My gosh. Um This has gone really, really badly. This is really not how I wanted this to be. I can't turn left. Help! Oh gosh. Need to turn left, need to turn left. Can't turn left. Uh-oh. I think this has not gone really well. Um oh there's a Daniel behind me. Or now there's a Daniel in front of me. This is no good. I can't. Can I just sort of patter along until the end? Can everybody just take each other out, please? Because I can't move so well. Really, I'm actually surprised. I've never terminally damaged my steering like this. Oh, great. No, 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 no. Not again. Oh, my gosh. I hope that guy got taken out. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Halfway through the race and I'm really not doing any good with this steering. I, I hate to restart. I, I really hate to restart. 
But wait, I'm in fourth place now, so I guess Daniel did get taken out. Uh oh. I'm all riding. Mercifully, I'm not getting taken out because of that. But uh, I can only really turn right. How, how does it look on the outside? Just how bad does it look? Wait, do I have no. Oh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! That's where my right wheel is. Okay. That sort of explains it, I guess. That's kind of creepy. I just wish that those guys would be taken out so I can take a first place. Please. I'm gonna fail this challenge miserably, I think, honestly. Come on. Ah! No! It's no good. The wheel is just gonna get eaten up. The wheel is just gonna get eaten up by the wall. I can't do anything about it either. I just have to wait for... I just have to have a lucky break where the guys take themselves out. No! If I, if I just wreck out, I'm gonna... I don't know, this is... Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh! Ah, this is no good. Well, I guess... What else can I talk about, Grid? Um... Like I said, Toge events. Uh... Toge, yeah, it's pretty much just like, um... The mountain runs in Initial D. You get... You get to ra drive down steep mountain roads in Japanese tuners, Nissan 350Z, Toyota Supra... Um... Yeah, Nissan, Skyline... You also can use uh, tune cars, tune muscle cars like Camaro and Challenger. There's a fly on my TV screen. Oh my gosh! It's a, it's a really huge fly too. Um, and it's right in the middle of my screen too. I really wish I could just show you guys right now. I actually have. Oh gosh! I do have a vacuum cleaner, which I would hope to take this fly out. Um, but. I, I don't know. I'm just, right now, I'm just doing very terribly in this race. Nope, there goes the fly. He goes off the TV screen. Come on! I'm doing so badly right now. It's okay. It's quite fun. Um. Yeah, one of the, I guess, uh, one of the other function of, oh, uh, one of the other functions of grid is that you can have, uh, you can have and manage a team. And you can hire teammate, as you probably saw on the loading screen, I had two teammates, uh, Aichi Matsuka and Tom Rockford. Tom Rockford is a pro racer whose specialty is in GT1. Aichi Matsuka, the specialty was uh, pro tune, although he was a rookie. Um, yeah, Aichi didn't do me so good. Tom Rockford has done me quite well. I don't know, I almost want to replace him with the guy from Luminition. There, there's a global racer from Luminition, who's really, really good, apparently. Has lots and lots of rep, but... I don't know. Don't know how good he is elsewhere. And there goes, um... I have no idea. I think that's... Actually, I don't know who that is. But I think I'm pretty much... No, I'm dead. I'm really... I'm just dead. I can't turn. I don't think I'm even gonna go fast enough to get wrecked out, honestly. Please. Guys, just get taken out, please. It'll just do me so nicely. No, nope, that's not helped me any. Um, I can't reverse either. I'm stuck in a pile of tires. Nope, where? Wow. I think, yeah, this car's four-wheel drive, but it's like the torque distribution must be 90-10 or something. Oh my gosh, just look at how bad the wheel is placed. Can I reset my vehicle? That's gonna really help out, I think. I would think so. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 ghost car, ghost car. Or am I the ghost car? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, drifting hasn't worked. I thought it would work, but it hasn't. Can I take out? Ah, I don't know where the other guy is. There he is. Um, well, it's not gonna. I don't know. Should I go? I wonder if I should go the other way and just wait for them to take him out, but... Maybe I could try that. Maybe. What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. I know I'm going the wrong way because I'm plotting something. It's a demolition derby, so... Oh, nope, that, that's completely failed. Where is... Don't just sit there. Great. I know! 
I don't think, no, that's not done much good. Never mind. All right, I'm just gonna race legitimately. Now is it hard for me to do a right turn as well? Well, oh, wait a second. No, it's easier to do left turns too. So what's happened here? That I cannot explain. Um, it's easy to turn now, is it? Sort of. Uh, it's kind of heavy, as if I were driving a heavy uh, SUV. I'm only three quarters of the way through the race. No! Oh gosh, okay, this is just, this is no good, honestly. No! Ah, come on. Here we, here we go. That's, uh... Yeah, I can't turn right so easily now. But I can turn left more easily, so I... I don't know, is that... I guess that's a bit better. But I'm not catching up to those guys. I'm two minutes behind them. Wow. And I'm not really gonna get any chances to take them out, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna take a podium from these guys. This is not... This has gone a lot worse than any other race, any other demolition derby I've ever done. Every other demolition derby I've done, that's been 24 laps, in which I do this quite a lot, it would be over very... Well, it wouldn't be over very quickly, I'd just be first all the time, and then I'd have to wait to take out the other guys, but I've never had terminal damage to my steering. So, ugh. A lot of handbrake usage here that's not helped at all. I can't take out uh, that guy, whoever's in front, that might be Michael Nimmo. But, yeah, I'm not catching up to him, I don't think. Or am I? No, I don't think so. No, I'm not. I'm trying my best to, but it's not working. It's not working at all. Or maybe I'm going to get a chance. Maybe I'm going to get a chance here. Nope. Nope, no chance there. I don't think, no, those guys are not going to take each other out because they're just too far apart. Please, let me take you out. Please let me grab podium, please. I'm not gonna grab grab podium like that. Can't. It's not gonna work because they've lapped me several times. Man, I've never actually totaled the car before. Never, never at least totaled and retired. I've always used rewind because the rewind function always did good. And I guess now that I think about it, Grid had rewind before Forza did. Is they introduced rewind before so they were introduced in number three, which was 09, and this is this is 2008. So I guess Forza decided to follow suits, which really helped out. Come on! Nope, that's not helped much. I'm not gonna have the turning to get to him either, or maybe may, maybe get him on the jump. Oh gosh! I'm gonna say maybe get him on the jump, but. That didn't really happen because I jumped over him. Maybe I get a chance here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Nope. No, he's not out. Is my... I don't know if my uh, crew chief is going to tell me if the guys have won. Would that be... Oh, wait a second. No. Bobby Lomack won, I think. Those guys are just driving around now just for the sake of driving around. Oh, great. I think that's... No. No, 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 no. He didn't win yet. Okay. Is there still a tiny bit of hope? Tiny bit of hope! Not much hope, just a tiny bit of hope. Come on. Ugh, come on, man. Get this thing turned! Get it turned! Oh, that's not done much good, I don't think. Nope, not done much good at all. Maybe this will? No, not really. Nope, that's, that's really not going to do much. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, it's gone so badly. I'm going to have to try this again, guys. I'm going to have to try this again. Oh, oh wait a second. I'm in third! Oh! Oh, Andy Cook got taken out! Or he... He got broken, or some... No! No, 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 no! Oh, wait a second, they left me. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah, not too shabby. Best lap produced on lap 9 because... It, no best better laps would have been produced when I was broken. 
Ugh. Nobody was behind me. Oh my gosh. Two minutes forty. Wow. Okay. That yeah, that that's not gone good at all, guys. I'm gonna have to try it again. I really am gonna have to try it again. That that's not gone well, man. Honestly, I I never did expect that. I didn't expect it at all, guys. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, my biggest drift, 95,000 points, because I'm really, really good. My biggest drift score, 21 million, because I made sense out of all the drifting physics. Yeah, I'm going to have to try this again, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Till next time, see you next video. I'm going to win it this time. Goodbye. Hey, guys. So, this is not quite the end of the video. I do finally realize what happened to my car as to why it had that terminally damaged wheel. If you look at the replay, when I rewinded it, for some reason the system glitched in which I thought that the wheel had caved in to the wheel well even though I hadn't yet crashed. It's kind of like a similar thing that Forza has with the replay system, but if I had known that I probably would have looked over it again to try to fix it. But I don't know, that that's how it went. With that, there is uh, one more thing that I want to note. This was the first video that I have done during the school year, and as you can see, not much has really been done to it, which is why it was easier to make here during the school year. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to be with these videos during the school year. Not much is going to be done to them because I just simply don't have the time. I, I'm very busy unfortunately, but I'm going to still try to maintain the schedule. Driver San Francisco videos are still going to have that quality of censorship. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty much the spiel, so thank you guys very much for watching. Part 2 is going to come out sometime soon. I'm going to go for it again and try to not get wrecked. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. God bless you, and until next time, goodbye.